Hello, hello, and welcome back to our 30 day challenge. If you have been following me for the past seven days, well done, fantastic work. If you are new here, my name is Charlotte and I am an English teacher from the United Kingdom, helping you to learn 30 idioms in 30 days. Each day we look at one new idiom and every five days we do a quiz to recap the past days. If you are interested in the previous videos, I will link them in the description below. You can watch them to learn the previous idioms. Okay, let's get started with today's idiom. Today's idiom is one of my favourites, to beat around the bush. Now, it does not mean to beat the ground around a bush, no. Instead, let's look at an example sentence and see if you can work out the meaning of it. Ah, please stop beating around the bush and get to the point. What do you think it could mean? Well, if someone beats around the bush, typically they talk about many different things which are not usually important because typically they are trying to avoid talking about the important matter, the thing that they actually need to say. So really they are being very indirect with their communication. So in this example sentence, it is meaning stop talking about the unimportant matters and tell me what you want to say. In this idiom, there is only one thing that could change and that is the conjugation of beat. You could change beat for beats. He beats around the bush. He often beats around the bush, for example, but around the bush cannot change. Let's look at some other examples. Do you think we should move the table over there? Do you think we should put something on the sofa, maybe a cushion? How about we move the flowers over towards the sofa area? Quit beating around the bush. What are you trying to say? The sofa looks terrible, so I'm trying to make it look a little bit better. This means that Sophie is hinting at different things at Paul. But Paul just wants to know directly what is the problem. So he tells her to just get to the point. Let's look at another example. When I asked Laura who had eaten the last cookie, she started beating around the bush and never really told me the answer. Meaning I asked Laura who had eaten the last cookie, but she never really answered. She just went around the question. Okay, your turn. See if you can write a sentence with beat around the bush in the comments below. I can't wait to read them. As always, if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up as it will really support me and my channel. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for day eight of our 30 day idiom challenge. Have a fantastic day and bye for now.